Hi guys, uh, this is the Witch in Stitches YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Lottie. Um, if you've seen the first video, then welcome back. Um, and if you haven't, then what are you doing here? Go and watch that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, basically this is just a channel where um, I'm going to talk about knitting, crochet, um, spinning, and my adventures in all sorts of different crafts, really. Um, so if you have seen um, my first video, you'll know that I've been crocheting um, some twiddle muffs um, ready to send to Knit for Peace. Um, if you don't know anything about twiddle muffs or Knit for Peace, um, so Knit for Peace are a, um, a charity, I believe, but they distribute any goods that you send to other charities and people in need. Um, so they take any kind of knitted or crocheted items, um, so blankets, hats, um, and in this case, twiddle muffs. Um, and I'll link their, their website down below anyway, so you can see what sort of thing that they need. Um, but yeah, if you've got any spare yarn or if you've got any, you know, any projects um, that you fancy working up for them, um, you can just post them off and like I say, they redistribute to um, charities that need them. Um, so yeah, I've been working on making some twiddle muffs. Um, so I'll show you one. Um, so basically these are um, just tubes of either knitted or crocheted um, yarn um, and they are designed um, for patients with dementia or um, other sensory issues and they cover them in sort of ribbon and, and bits, um, <laughs> excuse my cat, um, and yeah they're just designed um, to have in your lap and to fiddle with basically. So um, today I'm just going to be I've already made all the ones that I'm going to make, um, I'm just decorating them now, um, just adding the, like I say, the ribbon and the bits and bobs. Um, so I'll show you what I've got here to add on to them. Okay, so you can see here I've got a selection of pom-poms, I have got some more exciting coloured ones somewhere as well. Um, I'm just planning to stitch these on, um, just, you know, because they're sort of fun texture. Um, I've got some sequins as well. I'm hoping to thread some of these um, onto some embroidery thread so that you, you can sort of slide them backwards and forwards. Um, and they add, like again, a nice bit of colour and sparkle. Um, I've got various bits of tape. I've got... This is um, yarn that was gifted to me by a friend. Um, it is made of recycled silk. Um, so yeah, it's really pretty colours um, and it's got a really fun texture as well. It's really squishy. Um, and I've also got a little bit of lace there as well and I've got my lovely lovely vintage tin of buttons um, so yeah all kinds of buttons in there that I can sort of just sew on um, so this is one that I'm working on at the moment you can see that I've added some ribbon already I've just threaded that through um, and then knotted it and then tied it at the end so that you can sort of untie and retie the bow um, this one's already got some quite fun textures in it already, um, so I probably won't add too much. I've also added this little, I crocheted a little spiral um, and I've just knotted that on as well, so it's sort of springy texture and it's metallic thread as well, so it's really fun. Um, so now what I'm doing is just, I've got a bit of embroidery floss um, and I've just strung on there one little button and a sequin. I'm just going to string on some more sequins and maybe some more buttons. Just sort of stretch that across there so that they can be moved up and down. So I've finished my first one, um, this is the one I was showing you just now. Uh, so you can see how I threaded some little buttons and some sequins onto some embroidery floss here so you can sort of shuffle them up and down. Um, they just really look really cute and it's nice sort of fun dangly little bit. Um, and I've also threaded some pom-poms on as well with the same idea, you can just sort of move them around. Um, yeah, so that's finished twiddle muff number one. On to the next one. 
Um, so I think I'm going to work on this sort of red, orangey coloured one next. That's number two completed. Um, this one I have added. So there's some ribbon threaded through there. Um, there's some of the silk yarn um, and that I've just looped through really loosely so you can kind of get your fingers in there as well. Uh, there's a little toggle. It's fun to play with. A um, little wooden button. Some cord that I just knotted so it's got like a fun texture and obviously you could knot and unknot that. Um, and then I've just added a little bit of um, tape there with some sequins sewn on it, just because that, again, feels really fun, adds a bit of sparkle. Um, so, on to the next one. Let's have a look. Let's have a go at this one next. So, this is just like a fun purpley coloured one. Um, I haven't sewn some of these up just yet either, um, but I'll do that at the end. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can see this one's already got a, a little bow on it from some ribbon, um, which I've threaded through as well. Uh, so I might add some pom-poms to this one. I think I've got some, yeah, got some fun pink and purple ones there. Um, let's just have a little go. So that's the third one finished. This one I've added just a big pom-pom, another little knotted bit of tape. Um, this is really cute, I quite like this one. Um, this is two little pom-poms with some sequins threaded in between it, it feels really nice. Um, the bow and then a little button down the bottom here. Um, so that's just a nice little small one. I think that's probably my favourite so far actually. Um, so I've got one more left this one. Um, I've already got another one of these little coily crochet bits on there and a ribbon. Um, so just a few more bits to go on this one then. one done so again with this one I did another little pom-pom with some sequins it looks a bit like a rainbow actually it's cute um, a couple of buttons and the ribbon and the little stretchy coil thing so that's another one finished so that's all of those done that's one two three four and I've got another one over there that I've already finished um, so five in total um, so I can box them up now um, and send them to knit for peace I probably will do some more um, but probably, yeah, not, not at the moment. I've obviously got other stuff I'm working on. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, get these sorted and posted off. Thanks again to Ange for the inspiration, um, for making these, um, and for, uh, finding a purpose for my random yarn. As I was saying in my video, um, in my first vlog video, um, I primarily started making these um, thanks to Ange from Yarn and Yarns um, because I had a huge stockpile of random like fluffy yarns um, and novelty yarns basically that I didn't know what to do with um, so I yeah I started making twiddle muffs um, and again like the pom-poms and the bits that I've got um, all were just sort of lying around the house I haven't bought anything for these it's just using up old bits and bobs that I've got um, so it's fab in that respect, um, you know, it's, it's going to a good cause and it's also helping me get rid of all my 
junk, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll link um, Knit for Peace in the description, and I'll also link Yarny Yarns, um, just because she's obviously completed some over on her channel. Um, so if you're looking to make some yourself, more inspiration over there for, um, you, you know, for things to put on your twiddle muffs, um, because I know she's done some really cool things with buttons and that. Um, so yeah, happy twiddle muff making, if, uh, you fancy giving any a go, if, like me, you hoard random bits of rubbish, um, you know, pom-poms and sequins and buttons and bits, um, they're fab for sort of de-stashing. Um, so yeah, give it a go. There's loads of patterns and inspiration online as well on Pinterest and places like that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're going to give it a go. Um, send me some photos as well. I'd love to see, love to see your twiddle maps. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you next week, um, in my weekly update vlog. And spoiler, these will now be finished. <laughs> so they won't be featuring. Um, but yeah, you can see how I'm going, uh, along with all the rest of my projects. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining me today. Um, and like I say, show me your, um, your works in progress in the comments. Um, if you're making twiddle muffs or anything else, really, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and any more suggestions for things that I can attach or um, add on next time would be fab as well. So if you've got any ideas, let me know, because um, I will be making more of these in the future. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week. And thank you for joining me, guys. <laughs>